Today, everybody, I am officially going to try to figure out what the best openings are if you don't know anything about openings. As you know, I only know one opening, so I'm gonna try to figure out what the best opening is, and then I'm gonna be making a tier list of my favorite openings. And it'll be kind of as if, like, if you don't know anything about openings, I'm not gonna be playing the Queen's Gambit, I'm not gonna play anything that I know how to play. If you don't really know a lot about these openings, you know, what are the best things to start from? Okay, so we're gonna see which ones there are here we have the accelerated dragon the Khan, the french the ally pincisillian i think that i'm mostly going to be trying out like the standard ones like these ones i think those are the most mostly the ones that i'm going to be trying out like the english the exchange Khan. yeah we have the dutch we have the italian we have a lot of ones that we never tested here so i think it'll be really really fun so yeah let's go ahead and do this so we're getting the black pieces we are once again going to be playing something that we've never played before which one should we go for how's the french man I, maybe i should have checked out how you play these openings before how do you do the french e4 e6 okay we're gonna go e oh yeah e4 e6 d4 d5 okay here we go we're trying out the french everybody never played the french before have no idea of how this goes but we're gonna try it out that's what we're gonna do so let's see how do we do now is it c5 chat i think i need some i think i need some the knight of six or bishop b4 i think it's knight of six right so i guess you go here now because you want to go c5 to break the center i'm gonna go c5 now Okay, so this is this these are all main lines. I guess you go knight here. You're trying to put pressure here. And then I guess you're gonna take this. And I think that this is uh something you wanna try to do. So the reason why I'm doing this is also because I know that a lot of you have only been seeing me playing the same opening or whatever. And I have tried like a couple different ones out, but here I will actually be covering a lot of different openings as a complete beginner. Because even though you know I might have 2000 in, in, in rating in chess, I mean I'm a, I'm a beginner at playing these openings. I have no idea of how to do it i think that queen b6 is a main line i'm gonna go ahead and go queen b6 i'm going to do it and here wait do you, i think you take with the pawn or do you take i would take with the pawn actually i would take with the pawn to just centralize the pawns more and then taking here and then pushing c5 okay i think that this is what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna take here and then push c5 that's going to the plan okay so now tactics is going knight b3 okay he's going knight b3 uh i think no, I think I'm going to go bishop e7. I want to keep my pawn here. And then if takes, I'm just going to take with the knight. And then after takes, we're just going to take with the bishop. Let's do it. I think that we've equalized everybody. We have equalized. We have equalized. So actually, this bishop on c8 is typically like the biggest issue. But now I feel like we can activate it pretty quickly by going bishop e7. Maybe we can take here. We're going to castle. And then if we can remove the piece in front of this pawn, we can start pushing. I, th I think that this is pretty great. Okay, so now we're... I don't know if we're going to take here anymore because now this bishop is kind of annoying. Um, So we could push c4. We're going to go and push c4 to then take on b2 i'm kidding we're not gonna take on b2 because this one is hanging we got some big plans here yes we do but not so big because that one is actually hanging i just realized but if this pawn ever pushes then we'll be able to push here now i'm gonna go rook c8 and then after that i'm gonna place a rook on b8 we just gotta make sure that there's nothing going on here so that that is a pretty good move i kind of just want to go bishop here and because i kind of want to be threatening to go c3 and then I'm going to place a knight on f8 just to forever uh, protect this one. So those are the plans, everybody. Those are the plans. So we're going to go knight f8. And then I'm just going to go ahead and go up here. Awesome. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and go here now. Exactly, Cecilia is so sharp, maybe too sharp for beginners. Which is, you know, why we are testing out a bunch of different openings now. Because I realize that the openings that I play are not always the best. Like, you know, um, I am a beginner type of opening. So I'm going to go ahead and go queen here. Wait, am I pre-moving queen g6? Because I think we're going to go queen here. I'm putting pressure on this one. And then after this, I actually have an idea of sacking here. Because, okay, here, I mean, I would probably just go bishop b7. I have an idea of sacking here and then pushing if we can. Um, So now we're just going to take this one. And now we're threatening that one. So I don't think that was that good. So now we're threatening this one. There's not really any way to offend apart from going here. But then we'll just bring our knight up here and then we'll have a really good position. We can even, we can even, yeah, we're going to do something like this. So I'm going to sack here because I feel like we have a great, look at this bishop and queen together. And now we're going to checkmate here. GG tactics. But you guys can see like 
very quickly we were able to like get really active pieces after bishop b5 so i think that this is pretty good so i think that the main thing with the french is that you want to activate your bishop on on c8 that's what i've understood at least i don't know if c4 was good because i'm kind of blocking it and that kind of like forced me to sack at some point to activate it on b7 but it worked anyways Okay, so let's see which other one we have. So we have okay, we're gonna test out the English opening here. Wait, how do you play the how do you play the English? I think you go ahead and go knight f3. Is that how you do it? No! Wait, this is the birds! This is not the English! <laughs> I give up a chest too, everybody! I give up a chest too! <laughs> Okay, people, let's go ahead and play the birds. We got the birds here. This is, <laughs> this is, this is not the English. This is the birds. Okay, we got the birds here. All right, people, we can do it. So what else do we have here? Let's see. They played this. Okay, I think I'm going to take and then I'm going to go ahead and go D4. I think that this is looking pretty good, though. Apart from the fact that we have this square that we've given away, but I don't think that should be an issue. I'm going to go ahead and go E3 to defend everything. And then we're gonna go bishop d2. Maybe I just invented a new opening right now, right? Maybe I just invented a new opening. Awesome, I think that this is pretty good. You've never seen anyone play like this against the bird? I know, me neither. Okay, let's see, I'm gonna go queen here, put some pressure on all of these pawns, threaten this one a bit as well. And then we're gonna castle very soon. I'm liking this opening, to be honest. Now we're threatening to go bishop b4. <gasps> wow, I'm kidding. Actually, maybe it's fine because the king hasn't castled yet. So we're going to go ahead and go here. And then I'm just going to go here. Or king f2. And then we're just going to do this. This is fine. This is fine. So we're just going to go rookie one. And we're going to claim that king safety is more important than anything else. I'm probably going to go queen b3 and then just go g3 and then just get the king up here and then do this. I also want to get my queen out of this whole situation. Okay, but I think that this is looking pretty good. I mean, we've kind of invented our own opening, but this is pretty much working, you know? G3, I don't really want to go G3. I think I'm going to take here and then I'm going to go G3. And then if check, then we can just go King G2 and we can just, ex um, we can just run away this way. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go here. Awesome. Chat, what do you think about this? I'm liking this. I'm liking this. So far, I am going to be giving this. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and go rook f1. So far, I'm liking this. It's looking pretty good. I like all openings as far as we win the games. I think that's the issue with this. <laughs> I think that, you know, I'm just liking every opening that we win the game of. If we don't win the game, I'm just going to say an opening is bad. And if I win the game, I'm going to say an opening is good. I think that might be the issue with this, but that's okay. I think I'm going to go queen here just to have everything defended here as well. That's a pretty good move. I'm going to go h3 and then we're going to go... Okay, the bishop is going back. That's kind of weird. Then I'm probably going to go king h2 and then just threaten to go knight here. See, here we go. And then we're just winning a queen. Yeah, we couldn't go knight g5 before because there was this whole um, pin situation, but... Now we can do it. So now we're just going to go ahead and go here. And then we can go queen here, threatening this one. And then we can take the rook. And then that's a checkmate. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I kind of like this opening. I mean, I'm not sure if this is how it's supposed to be played by both sides. But I mean, it was our F pawn was pretty good. We were able to like push... Like, we could have been able to push F5 pretty soon. I kind of like this. That was like, okay, at the beginning... Yeah, Rafael, yeah, but I kind of like this for me too. Like, imagine having ideas of like doing like this. Chat, I think I just fell in love with the birds. I think that we're gonna start playing the birds in the future at some point. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and use this piece of paper right here, everybody. Let's go ahead and use this piece of paper. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and do like this. We got the birds i'm gonna give the birds a solid eight out of ten but i kind of like this how are you scoring these i am scoring these now this is going to be like completely reversed for you but you can just like practice on reading from the other side so the way that i'm scoring these are with how i feel like when i'm playing the openings like how much potential do i feel like my position has straight from the opening i don't know this situation this positions i've never played them but how much do i like the openings all the way from the beginning so in this game i like this opening simply because of the fact that I felt like, for instance, after bishop e6, I have ideas of like pushing f5 or going bishop here and going for some crazy stuff over here. I feel like there's a lot of potential in this opening for me and I really enjoyed it. So that's how I'm scoring these.
Okay, let's go ahead and go for this one. So now I'm gonna play something else. We've played the fringe. Um, I played a little bit of Karakan in the past, but I'm gonna go ahead and play the Karakan again. So the Karakan, I feel like it's just like a nicer version of the French. You kind of get like the same structure. I think that this is the, the exchange variation when they exchange here. But um, now we're just getting the bishop out and you have like the same kind of French structure, but with your bishop out and you can exchange this horrible bishop. So I think that that's what's kind of fun of this. Yeah, Karakan is good too. I like it. We're going to go ahead and try this out. So the knight is going up here. I'm going to go ahead and try to exchange it. We're going to go ahead and do this. Um, Let's see. So the castles... I'm going to go ahead and go bishop e7. Awesome. Isn't this a slab defense? This actually started out as a Karakan, but it kind of like turned into becoming kind of like a slab defense as well. Okay, so right now, I mean, I ca I'm kind of used to this type of positions, like in comparison, because it's kind of similar to like d5. So here, a4, we're just going to go c5. That's the idea. And we just want to open up these files here. Have I tried the Stafford? I have not, actually. I have not. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go rook c4. And we're just going to bring this one to the other side. That's what we're going to try to do. What do you think of the Dutch defense? We're going to try it out Try it out later as well, David. We're going to do a bit of everything. I'm really excited. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this one in here. We're going to try to make this an aggressive opening just the way I like it. And, and that's that. I think this is going to be great. So I'm just going to place my rook on g6. This, if this is not the most epic rook lift you've ever seen, I don't know what the most epic rook lift is. I have absolutely no idea. So I'm going to go ahead and go knight here and then knight there. That's what we're going to try to do. So now... He's bringing this one in. I'm going to bring the queen in as well. I'm just going to try to go all crazy up here. I'm going to go 100% crazy on the king side because that's what you got to do in chess. You just, whatever opening you're playing, you just got to go 100% crazy. So here we have the option of going queen here. And now pawn, like, pawn takes is not possible because of this move. So I think that this is pretty good. How do you tell good rook lifts from bad ones? Good rook lifts are rook lifts where the rooks actually do something. Bad rook lifts are rook lifts where you can't really do anything <laughs> with the rook. So now we can actually place the knight over here. We can throw in the queen and we're going to be able to take on h3 as well. So the poor a pawn is lonely. This poor a pawn is lonely, but there's no attack, so it's okay. Good rook lift, rook does good stuff. Exactly. And bad rook lifts when you blunder the rook on the way. I mean, that's how simple it is, to be honest. Chess is not more difficult than that. So now we're going to go for this, and then we're just going to take this one as well. And we're just going to go 100% crazy over here. So that is our crazy good plan. So I'm just going to take this one. And look at this. Now we've been able to just win, like, so many different pot like pieces etc so now he's going a bit like he's just trying to go on this way but we're just not going to care about our ape pawn the ape pawn can be as lonely as it wants to be so now we're going to take this one we're winning a queen here awesome um this is what we have over here and then after it takes we're going to go for this check and then we're going to take this one and now all of a sudden the ape pawn is not alone anymore so that is that chat did you learn anything about rick lifts today did you learn anything about rook lifts? Okay, I'm gonna go queen check. I kind of want to see where the rook goes. If rook here, then I'll just go queen here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go h6. Give some space, give some air for our, our king. Tomato, you gotta say yes. When I ask the type of question, the only answer that there is is yes. That's the only answer. Rook needs to go in an elevator. <laughs> exactly. Rook lift, if you're from England, I guess you'd call it rook elevator. No, I mean rook lift, and then if you're from North America, you call it rook elevator. Is that how it is? I remember when I was young that you, when we're when we're talking about like the different like names that are different in like the in like the UK and then like US. I remember rook lift being one of those. <laughs> Anyways, let's see. So we got a queen check. We're not gonna we're gonna bring. Okay, second lesson of the day, everybody. You gotta bring all your pieces in. Okay. We've gotten the rook in. We've got the beautiful rook lift. Now it's time to do another rook lift. We've got to bring the second rook here. we got to bring the second rook in, everybody. We're going all in. we got to bring the second rook. Okay, GG. GG. Okay, let's just analyze this opening again. I kind of enjoyed this opening as well. The Karakan was great, but the Karakan would not have been as great without our rook lift. It was kind of like... I feel like the Karakan is great, but it was kind of like... I don't know. It's kind of like a slob. I'm going to give the Karakan a solid six and a half as well. Simply because it was good, but no, I'm going to give it a seven because I prefer it to the French. Okay, seven out of ten for the Karakan, six and a half out of ten for the French, and eight out of ten for the birds. That's what I'm going to do. Bird higher than the Karakan. 
Okay, working chimney. I'm not saying that this list is officially like the best list in the world. What I am saying is that this list, what it gives you is an insight for somebody who's never played these openings and who also likes to play really aggressive chess. I love the birds, everybody. That's all I have to say. King's Indian is with white? Okay, let's go for a King's Indian attack. Okay, so how does it go? Knight of three, here we go. King's Indian, I'm ready. Oh no. Oh yes. We'll go for a King's Indian attack, everybody. I'm ready. Let's do it. And then we'll castle. Okay, and then d3 and e4. Okay, here we go. King's Indian attack. Here we go. Okay, and now we're gonna go for e4, everybody. Look at this. Look at this. We got a King's Indian, everybody. Let's go. Can you go for this? I don't think you can. Okay, I'm gonna bring my knight out and then I'm just gonna go here. Let's do this. Mm. And now we're gonna go back. I'm gonna go knight d2 and then I'm gonna go e4. That's what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna do, I uh, maybe I should have gone that way immediately, right? <laughs> I think I should, I think I should have gone. <laughs> should've, should've, I think I should have gone there immediately. I think I should have gone knight d2 immediately. That was stupid, everybody. That was stupid. Anyways, doesn't matter. We're gonna go knight d2 after. We're gonna take this one because our bishop sucks. <laughs> and then we're gonna go knight d2. Mm, okay, we're gonna go knight here. Look at our knight. Our knight went from being a bad knight. Our knight is good now. Awesome. Masterclass is how to reroot the knight. Exactly. We're just learning how to reroot a knight. Look at this. Trying to place the knight on e4 because that's a good square. Because that's a square where the knight would be really centralized, protected by the bishop. And then the only move that could, you know, stop it is, is f5. But then that would weaken all of these squares. Let's go, people. We might even go for f4 at some point. Let's do it. Our knight is going to be the best knight you've ever seen in this world. It was knight b, d2. I have to say that I definitely do not know the best. Now, I think a b5 is a mistake because we got this whole, uh, you know, diagonal, you know, doing its thing here. I think this is looking good. So this is, this is looking good. Awesome. This is looking good. I'm going to go f4 really soon. We could, uh, we're going to go f4 and then we're just going to open everything up here. Wait a second. Let me just figure out exactly the question. One second. So knight here, if knight check, no, that's not going to work out. Um, this one is hanging. I think we're going to go queen here and then we'll do it, do it here. Train dark square bishop is the same as train light square bishops in the king's in the end. Kills the tag because they can lock the structure and you can't sack. Well, the pens pro, it's a good thing because you don't always want to sack. So objectively, the, the, the dark, the light square bishop on the king's in the end is a bad bishop. So even if there might be a potential for you being able to sack it at some point, you want to trade it off, you know? So, so you shouldn't. Like, you should always be thinking about the fact that you might sack it. I'm just trying to activate my pieces on the king side here. I'm doing everything to just activate them here. So, yeah, that's that's what we're doing. Okay, let's see. Queen here, that could be one idea. Um, we might want to knight check. Kind of want to go for stuff like that, but I know it's not good. So, if this or might be f5, I think we're just going to go queen... I think we're just queen of two. There's going to be f5 anyways, man. I don't really know. Okay, I think I'm going to go here. Let's just go for it. So if takes kind of once again, want to go for the check. I think I'm going to go h4, h5, because then we might have the idea of going knight f6 check. So I think that these are, this could be a pretty good idea. So now I'm probably going to go queen here. Um, and I'm threatening if g6 ever to just take on h6. And we might have one thing and some ideas like this. That's the plan. That's the plan. Okay, so if check, and there's just going to be rook takes. If knight here and this, there might be something else. If rook, okay, let's see what we have. I still think that rook f2 and rook here are going to be the best option. So as long as we don't get, as long as our queen isn't trapped, I think this is going to be good. Um, I'm going to go rook here now. Awesome. If takes and then takes and then this, I'm probably just going to go king h two and just claim that we're that that it's okay basically probably just gonna claim that it's okay so king h2 i'm not gonna go there because there there's always these type of checks maybe now we could go for some rook f5 i'm gonna do it now because now there's no g6 doubling rooks is oh ah! don't ask me about that don't ask me about that move don't ask me about that move don't ask me about that move okay that was not good don't ask me about that move at all. That move just did not happen. Okay. 
All right, what 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 else is happening here? Oh no, what what did I just do? 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 Da -da 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 -da. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go rook here. Let's go ahead and take this one. If I go queen here, there's going to be knight takes and I'm going to be losing this one. Okay, let's see what they take with. I'm gonna go rook here. That is good to like keep on. Okay, I am blundering. They should have taken here. That would just have ended up being a disaster for me. Okay, now, oh no. Oh no, disaster. 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 Am I gonna lose? We are going to try to some, I don't know why I'm exchanging. You should not be exchanging here. You should not be exchanging. Can you stop playing so well? I hate this opening! I hate this opening! I hate this opening! No! King's Indian attack! Get out of here! I'm never playing! I'm never playing this opening again! That was a horrible opening! Horrible! Horrible opening! I hated every second of it! Never playing it again! <laughs> no, but actually, let's go ahead and get back to the opening. I got a horrible position. Now, <laughs> could that be because I went knight of three, knight b1, knight d2? Yes. Yes. That might be the reason. That might be the reason. Maybe I can't say too much about this because I messed up, but I'm gonna give this opening a 3 out of 10. There we go. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a big thumbs up and also to subscribe. If you ever want to catch me live, go ahead and go to twitch.tv slash Hope to see you there.